Never did I ever think that I would be making a video to post on the internet sitting on a toilet, but I'm very excited to be doing so because today we are going to talk about our most popular project we've ever posted online and that is painting the tile in your shower. So we, um, if you're new to our channel, we are Farmhouse Living. My mom and I, every week on Thursday, share either a DIY project, a home project, home tours, really anything home. So if you're into that type of thing, make sure that you subscribe. So last week here, we shared a tour of our flip house. Mom and I, over quarantine, took on our first flip house and we decided in the guest room to actually paint the tile versus de demoing it all out and installing new tile. The reason we were confident enough to do that in the flip house, knowing that the future buyer would have a really great bathroom in the end that would not scratch or chip or that it would just be a really great quality, was that I actually did this in my own bathroom. And so um, when I posted this blog, um, th that project, probably it's been over a year now, um, I get questions about it every single week. And so I thought while we were sharing the project at the Flip House, that was a great opportunity to actually answer all of your questions. So first and foremost, I wanna show you the before of the Flip House. I don't know how to open that door. Oh, this is really bad. Well, that's just a guess. That's, that's 6,000. That's about right. Yeah. Oh. when the blue tile makes you sad. So the tile was actually painted blue. Another detail in that bathroom that was a huge issue was they didn't have a shower head. So it was a bathtub that was really low to the ground. It seemed like it was really basically just a shower with no shower head. So what we needed to do was match the tile on the wall going up and paint everything so it all looked the same. So we had our tile team go ahead and do that and we actually ended up going diagonally on the top so that it gave some variation but also so if the tiles weren't the exact same size it didn't conflict. It didn't look like we were trying to, to mesh it and I'm actually really pleased with how that turned out. Um, the reason that we decided to not demo out the tile, not only in the flip house, but in my own house, is because in older homes, our, both these homes were built in the 1960s, when they put tile in, they installed it with concrete and wire mesh. And so the demo in that is pretty intense, and the tile, most tile installers, will charge you an arm and a leg to get that out because it's just a beast. And so with my house, the demo team basically, when they demoed the kitchen, that revealed the walls met and that revealed that it was concrete under there. And they were just like, hey, is there any way you can just leave that? And I'm like, yeah. I guess I can try to paint it. So we just tore out the, the floors, did the floors, and then painted the walls. And then when we walked in the flip house, I immediately knew this is the same situation. It is concrete and wire mesh. It's going to be a beast. So then when we started getting quotes, it was the same deal. They wanted to charge an arm and a leg, and I just, you know... I was like, you know what, this is a great opportunity to talk more about painting tile. The product that we use on this project and also the flip house is the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. It is $25 on Amazon. I know that some Home Depots carry it. Um, I actually got, the, I know that it comes in a spray and it also comes in a um, box with two separate containers that you can mix. I used the box kit and most of the videos that I've seen online with successful projects have used the box kit. So I recommend doing that.
So my first most common question on this project is how is it holding up one year later? And it looks perfect. It honestly, I don't see a scratch, a chip, a um, any sort of wear and tear on this at all. And I do give credit to the preparation in this project. So um, we used an abrasive cleaner, we used Comet, and then I mean, we took an, a full hour and a half to clean the tile. And then after that, we took a hand sander and we went over it and sanded to make sure every little drop of grime was completely off of the tile before we began painting. So yes, it's held up amazingly. And that was what gave me confidence to use it in the flip house. I knew that that was going to hold up for the future buyer of the flip house. But also, you have to know that I have seen a lot of videos where people have not had the same results, and I would say that it might be because you didn't prep your tile properly. And some people even said it in their videos or in their reviews. I did not take the time to prep for this project and honestly in every single DIY project that you could possibly do the prep is always the hardest the longest the most intensive part of the project so at the flip house that was kind of what gave us a run for our money the prep I, we knew the prep was important because we had done it here and we believe that's what gave us such great results but with that being said said we knew that that tile had been painted before so we wanted to go ahead and strip the paint back before we painted the the white on so then when we began um, stripping it that paint was just not coming off and so what I decided to do was actually strip just the shower area where the tile would be getting wet and then on the actual walls I just sanded it down and prepped it like I did in this bathroom versus stripping it just because it was so intense trying to get the paint off of the off of the walls so another very common question is how many containers of paint did you use? So in my house, my tile really was just like a dingy cream yellowish with a gold trim. It really just looked like a very dirty white. And we used two containers of paint. The, I really did one coat and then the second coat was really just kind of a touch up. I wouldn't even categorize that as a full coat. And um, it was quick, it was easy, it covered really fast, no problems. At the flip house where we were going over the pink and blue tile, we used over four containers of paint, probably, I guess we would say four and a half, and I felt like it was really challenging to get full coverage. So if you watched my original video, and then you painted over like pink or blue or a really bright color, I would like to publicly apologize to you because good gravy, that was a lot harder than this project. So I feel like I might have made it sound a lot easier than your project might have turned out. Um, but overall, I'm still glad that we did it. But I will tell you that if you're going over a color, like a bright color, just to mentally prepare yourself that this project might not be a one day project, it might take some time to get full coverage, um, I would actually recommend doing thin coats and just planning on doing three or four coats. So really soft, light, thin coats they'll look you will definitely see the color through at first but you'll get an even coverage and then go over it again and then go over it again and then go over it again that ensures that you're not getting any like runs or any because when i was trying when i was dipping my paint roller in and trying to get enough paint to cover then i was having to fix runs and different uh, variations of coverage 
it's just better to go over one smooth coat and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again. I know that's a lot of work, but for me, I feel like that's the best method and it's going to be the longest lasting, um, smoothest, best looking method. So if you have colored tile, heed my advice. Smooth is fast, multiple thin coats, that will be your solution to paint your tile. Another common question is how long do the fumes last? For both projects, I felt like the fumes lasted about a day. So we have windows in both um, of the bathrooms that we took on. So we just opened the window and then I put a towel actually in the um, gap of the door and shut the door and I didn't feel like it was all over the house so we could definitely stay in the house. It wasn't a big deal. But while you're painting, the fumes are pretty intense. So in my house, I used a just one of those disposable masks, um, the thicker ones. But in um, at the flip house, I knew what I was getting into. So I put on a pretty intensive, you know, big mask that I borrowed from my dad that he actually uses for to paint cars and man that was even better so if you have access to one of those or you can purchase one of those you have um, another reason to use one of those i would definitely recommend that because while you're painting the fumes are intense after you leave the bathroom they are it's okay in your house it didn't feel overwhelming when i was in my kitchen or the kitchen at the flip house which is pretty it's right off the hallway where those bathrooms were it, it was fine. The next question is, can I use this product on the floor? No, don't use this product on the floor. And I'll tell you why. It shows footprints so bad. We've actually used this product, we had it on the walls, and then we put it on the floor, and when it dried, it always showed footprints, which is strange because I never see markings on the wall, so I can't really explain why, but, Rust-Oleum actually makes an interior floor paint, which we've used many times and actually used that on the floor in the flip house, and you never see markings. It doesn't chip. It's really great for the floors. So on your tile walls, use the, the tub and tile refinishing paint, and on the floors, use the interior floor paint, both by Rust-Oleum, both great products but they are made for those specific purposes and I have tried to swap them interchangeably. It doesn't work. The funny thing is I actually have an entire video of using the tile floor paint and at least twice a week I get someone message me, can I use this on the tile wall? And like it, it, in the shower and no, use the the, the wall paint, the shower paint, <laughs> the tub and tile refinishing paint for the walls, and the floor paint for the floors. You won't regret it. They're both super cost effective. They both work really well. Um, the great thing about the floor paint is it comes in tons of different colors. The um, tub and tile refinishing kit really only comes in white. I have seen like a cream or a beige. That's not in style. Don't do it just get white <laughs> but the floor paint has so many different colors you can use stencils with it it's really honestly it's awesome so if you're looking for another solution for painting tile you don't want to paint the walls but you want to paint the floors that's another great product and I will link the entire project where we did that below so as you can see in both projects the results are dramatic we have before in my bathroom and after in my bathroom we have before at the flip house and we have after in the flip house both projects were using the rust-oleum tub and towel refinishing kit both projects had the same age tile and um, we are just super pleased with the results it is a complete transformation so if you have a bathroom that you are just not loving 
that you really want to um, get the most impact in without investing in all new tile, basically a complete construction job, um, then I would just recommend painting it. And I do not think you'll regret it. And even if it's temporary, I think it's okay sometimes to do temporary fixes for your um, for your spaces. You know, if you know that you just want to see a transformation and you're using, you know, a peel and stick wallpaper or a paint on the floor that you know that eventually you're going to rip out or on the walls that you're eventually going to rip out. Things that are really not expensive that temporarily give you the look that you're it's a better look than what you have and so I think that would be um, that and that was kind of where I was with my bathroom I just was like this might be a temporary fix this might be a long-term fix but either way it's a lot better than what I have and so I know that that's not always you know you look at Instagram and you look at Pinterest and these things are super highly designed and made over um, and sometimes they feel completely unachievable and that's what I love about the paint and I think that's why it's so popular is because it makes it makes it feel like anyone can achieve it. You know, you can anyone can find $25 to invest in a um, container of paint an hour of your time to completely transform a bathroom. Whereas not everyone has the resource to or the skill to completely gut a bathroom and so that's what I love about the paint that's what I love about paint in general there's so much power in just like painting wall that I mean that's what you saw in the flip house is it was that ugly wood paneling and we just painted it and it completely transformed it the same with the fireplace all we did was we took a container of paint and it completely transformed the space so if you feel like dang, I don't have the budget, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, maybe it's not your forever home, so you don't want to overinvest. just take a weekend, get some paint, whether it's a fireplace, a wall, a tile, and just paint it. I mean, the hardest part of the whole thing is prep and picking the right color. So, um, I hope that's encouraging. I hope that it makes you believe that you can have a home that you love, a space that you love. If you do end up taking on this project or any others that I mentioned, make sure that you leave us a message on Instagram. I love seeing your completed projects. It just, you know, makes my entire day. So I hope that I answered all your questions. If you have any more, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to respond promptly um, because I would love to see you take on this project and cover all the ugly tile in the world. <laughs> so like this video, give us a subscribe and we will be sharing more projects in the future. Next week, I think we have a home tour, but you'll have to subscribe to find out. So have a great day, guys. Bye.